Okay, let's get started. So the prostate is an organ that sits right under the bladder. BPH is the benign enlargement of the prostate that occurs in all men as we age. The problem is the urethra runs right through the middle of the prostate, and as the prostate enlarges, the urethra becomes compressed, obstructing the bladder's ability to quickly drain its urine. This is the underlying cause of all the symptoms that men experience. These symptoms include difficulty starting to urinate or a weak urinary stream, the sensation that you cannot completely empty your bladder, frequent trips to the bathroom to urinate, and getting up at night, even waking up several times at night to urinate. Getting up at night to urinate is the most common symptom that I hear from my patients. Now these problems can lead to anxiety about where the next bathroom is, especially anxiety about long drives. This is the second most common complaint I hear from my patients. Now these problems are very common and they start to rule the life of the men that are so affected. So what can we do about this? Well, surgeons have a variety of treatments that are done through instruments placed through the urethra. One of these surgeries uses staples to pull the prostate tissue away from the urethra. So here you can see there are two staples connected by a string, and that string puts tension on the inner staple, pulling the prostate tissue away from the urethra. The problem with this is you can't possibly staple the entire urethra, so there will still be segments of prostate bulging into the urethra, and indeed this is the most common problem with this treatment. Also the prostate keeps growing and it's going to fill in those gaps, so the treatment's not going to last long. Finally, these staples and string can fatigue and break off into the urethra over time. Another treatment option is to use a laser to burn away the tissue in your prostate. This is also called ablation, or you may hear this procedure referred to as the green light procedure. As you can imagine, the procedure is uncomfortable to recover from, can cause some bleeding, and doesn't do anything to treat the underlying cause of enlarged prostate, so the prostate will grow back into those gaps over time. And finally, there's the traditional TERP surgery, also performed with an instrument placed through the penis. Now, the TERP has been done for decades. TERP stands for transurethral resection of prostate. The TERP uses a cutting tool to hollow out a cavity in the prostate. The drawbacks are several days of bleeding, several days with a catheter, and a range of sexual side effects that are permanent. So now I'm going to talk about my treatment, PAE. So I use the, the body's blood vessels to administer targeted treatments into problem areas. This works very well in the prostate. We can navigate a tiny catheter, imagine a little angel hair pasta, that we can navigate into the prostate arteries, and once there, administer treatment that will shrink the prostate without harming it. Here's the treatment we will release in the prostate artery. These are simple gelatin beads that very readily follow the flowing blood. We actually release hundreds or thousands of them. The beads come in a syringe like this one, and once we're ready to release the beads, we connect our syringe to the tiny catheter we've placed in the artery, and we push the beads into the vessel. The flowing blood delivers the beads deep into the prostate, where they reach a vessel size they cannot pass through. At this point, the beads get stuck within the vessel, which is what we want. And see these arrows? These represent the continuous forward flow of blood pressure, keeping the beads in place so they can't move backward and they can't migrate to other parts of the body. The point of the beads is to take up space in the vessel where the blood is flowing. This markedly slows down the blood flow in the prostate. Now this does involve a procedure. We've made sure that this is a very easy, minor procedure done in an outpatient center. We'll get you back home the same day and life is virtually back to normal the next day. Best of all, you don't feel anything we're doing. This is not an operation. There's no cutting. There's no wound that needs to heal. There's no nerves inside the blood vessels for you to feel what we're doing. So where does all of this get us? When we slow down the blood flow in the prostate, over the next few weeks, the prostate shrinks 20%, 30%. Some parts of the prostate can even shrink 50%. Now here's a real before and after as shown on MRI. This is the same patient before embolization on the left and after embolization on the right. 
It's important to note that this does not harm the prostate. The prostate is a sexual organ. It keeps doing its job, but you can see that the treatment has substantially reduced the size of the prostate. Okay, so the prostate shrinks, but you may be asking, does this mean I can take long drives and sleep through the night now? That's what it's all about. Well, the answer is yes, but don't just take my word for it. There have been lots of clinical trials performed over the years, so we have a very good understanding of how well PAE works to relieve your symptoms. The bottom line is PAE works great. This graph sums up the results of one of the clinical trials that compared PAE with the traditional TERP surgery. Now this graph shows the symptom score known as IPSS. Uh, remember when you've walked into a urologist office, you've probably filled out this symptom score. When looking at this scoring system, Remember that lower numbers are better. You want your treatment to lower your numbers as much as possible. This graph shows that PAE relieved symptoms as well as or better than the traditional TERP surgery did. Patients get these results with the added benefits of no bladder catheter, no sexual side effects, and no time in the hospital. Other studies have shown that these great results should last five to six years. So the next step in the process is for you to give us a call. There's no obligation. You're not signing up for treatment just by calling. Our phone representatives can answer all questions that you may have and can give you a lot more information. And of course, when you call, our representatives will be happy to schedule a consultation for you to meet with one of us providers. We can help you decide if PAE is right for you. This is our number in Arizona, and this is our phone number in El Paso, Texas.